Well, I'm Chris Cantle, editor of Motorcyclist Magazine, and clearly I've misplaced my motorcycle. Today I'm swapping it for a jet ski. The jet ski 310R has 300 horsepower, uh, 310 actually, which is more than enough to get it down Lake Powell, where we are, at blistering speed. The limited top speed of this thing is 67 miles an hour, which might just be enough to beat Kawasaki's blindingly fast H2SX. I'm Zach Bowman, contributing editor with Motorcyclist Magazine, and obviously I have not forgotten my motorcycle. It's a Kawasaki H2SX, a supercharged beast, and I'm going to be racing it against editor Chris Cannell, who's on a supercharged Kawasaki Jet Ski 310R. Bowman, fortunately for me, has a much longer route to go today. He's looking at about 230 miles. I'm going to go 140, and, uh, and we'll see who comes out the winner, the better. Navigating Lake Powell is kind of a challenge. It's a very, very big place and it's a bit of a maze from top to bottom. What we found doing a little bit of pre-running is that there are a lot of canyons where you can just make a small mistake and go shooting down the wrong way for a very long time. So, in order to mitigate that, I've ridden with a Sharpie all over the front of this very good looking jet ski. Hopefully, I'll be able to track the channel buoys all the way down the main channel of Lake Powell and stay out ahead of Bowman. I've got two fuel stops, He'll probably only have one, and he's going to be cutting it close. So I'm going to be trying to make my fuel stops as quick as possible. It's going to look like NASCAR out on the water. Kawasaki says we can expect about 150 miles to a tank, somewhere around there. That seems pretty low, and that makes my last fuel run really difficult, because it's 149.8 miles from Mexican Hat, where the gas station is, all the way to the dock in Page. So I have to maximize my fuel economy while also maximizing my speed. It's going to be pretty challenging. It's going to be fun. There's a bottle of good booze on this. See you there. 51, go. The Bowman's already halfway up the ramp. We gotta keep this thing at no wake speed. It's like under five miles an hour. It's agonizing. All right, stand up. Here we go. With all this power and nothing but wide open Utah in front of us, we had ourselves a race. But never mind speed, we were both staggered by the beauty of the places we were riding through. Bowman's route went straight through Monument Valley, mine through an earthly red rock canyon on Colwell Blue Water. The jet ski has a prodigious appetite for fuel. Wide open, it's gobbling around 21 gallons an hour. But I don't mind, my 140 mile trip down the lake is going to take two stops. So I leave the jet ski pinned, knowing that every minute at top speed is opening a gap between the 310R and the H2SX. As predicted, the race is close, and it's going to come down to fuel. Bowman is wringing all the fuel economy he can out of the Kawasaki H2SX. He covers 100 miles of Utah in a full tuck, and when he pulls in a Mexican hat, he's running on fumes. It's a perfect pit stop. He doesn't even get off the bike. Mine, on the other hand. Are we with you, Mr. Mullen? Oh, no sweat. You want to authorize me on 14? Um, yeah. Thank you. My computer's completely locked up. It's going to be just a couple of minutes. All right, no sweat. I apologize for that, sir. Okay, 14's authorized. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, no sweat. My fuel stop at Bullfrog might as well have been a torpedo to my total time, but I still got a chance. For the most part, the lake is helping. It's an incredible place to go fast when it's glossy and only a little daunting when it's choppy. But Bowman is on a tear. While I fight with ski boat wakes, he's in the home stretch on the long downhill ride toward the north. Headed into the agonizingly long no wake zone at Antelope Point, idling past rows of houseboats and jet skis, it's still anybody's race. Is he here? Is he here? He's not here? I've won? Ah ha ha! Suck it, Cannell! I won! Motorcycles are better than jet skis. Thank you very much. I wonder how far behind he is. 
I'm gonna get sunburned if he's not quick, man. I'm not. I'm not just like gonna hang around on this aluminum dock waiting for Chris Candle to show up. Like, that's his problem. There he is, second place. Here he comes. He doesn't look upset. He looks like. Look at him. He look, he look, oh, there it is. There's the upset. Ten minutes, man. That's all it was. Ten minutes. That's brutal. Ten minutes. That's all it was. Oh, you're killing me. Really? Ten minutes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Oh, so I had a thirty-minute fuel stop. Ah, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. What happened? That's just how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that kills me. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I was hauling freight, buddy. I was hauling freight. It's hard to feel bad if a bike wins. It's true. It's but it's real hard to feel bad when I win. win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am super pissed that I lost. But I think the moral of this story isn't that you need to run two supercharged super tours against each other. You just need to get yourself out to Monument Valley and Lake Powell. Absolutely. It's beautiful out here. And it's it's really really pretty convenient. Eight hours seems like a lot from LA, but it's pretty close. That's a long weekend trip, man. How long did this take us? Three hours? Yeah. Three hours of lake underneath me. Yeah. Three hours from one side to the other, wide open on a 310 horsepower jet ski. That's unreal, man. That is worth eight hours in the car. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I, you know, some of the best, most beautiful riding I've ever put my eyes on. It looks like a different planet. Yeah. And it yeah. looks like a different planet over and over again. Yeah. It's really amazing. Are you exhausted? I am beyond exhausted. Do you need a beer? I need a beer, I need a shower, <laughs> and I need a nap. Not necessarily in that order. I need a giant heaping handful of Advil. Yes. And something Frosty. that ends in Argarita. <laughs> <laughs> Good race, yeah, brother. Good race, buddy. No, don't pull me out this <laughs> way.